I want you to look with me now, beginning in verse number 3. And it says, Seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he took his sign and he, if he could have stepped, he was lame, so he couldn't step. But I'm sure he leaned with the sign just a little bit further because he saw them coming. And he said to them as they went by, he asked to receive alms. Peter and John, as they went in, I, I know without a doubt they didn't have the mind. Don't look at me. Please don't say anything to me. Please, 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 please. Let me get through here without feeling this. It's not what happened. Look what happened in verse number 4. And Peter directed his gaze at him. He looked at him. He intentionally took time to notice this man in need. As did John. And said... Please don't miss this. Look at me. Look at us. Can you imagine for a moment? You're driving up to the intersection. You see the person. And in your mind you're saying, Oh, please don't look at me. But then you go, Wait a minute. That's not what John and Peter did. He looked and it was like, Hey, right here. You know what he was saying to this man? He was saying to him simply, don't miss this. You can depend on us. Depend on us. Look at us. Depend on us. We want you to. Don't miss this opportunity. And this is what they were saying to the man. They were saying, look at us. Depend on us. But they went on to say in verse number 5, it says, and he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. I don't want you to miss that. You may not have silver and gold to give every single person. Let's put that in to our American language. You may not have any currency. You may not have any dollars or change in your pocket to give somebody or to give to everybody. And there are times we don't and we feel that nag inside of us when we have to look and go and we move on. But what I don't want you to miss is there is something much greater than currency and money that you could ever give to somebody and that's the hope of Jesus Christ. It's the message of hope. So pastor, how do I accomplish that? Let me just simply say this, that Peter and John didn't miss their opportunity to reach out to a man who needed the message of hope, and they shared hope with him. And when they shared hope with him, the next verse says, and he got up and he went, and he rejoiced because he had encountered the message of hope. There's hope for Togo, and there's hope for Belgium. And I want you to know that they are going to share the message of hope. And though we don't have resources to help every single person we come in contact with, we can find ways, though, that we can pull together and give to those and to help those who can go and give the message of hope around the world. Silver and gold I may not have to give to everyone. But something I do have, and that's the message of Jesus Christ. And together, when we pull our resources together, we can see that message broadcasted all over Togo, Africa, and the surrounding areas. We can see the message of hope in Belgium given by a family that's willing to go and to reach out to those that are in human trafficking and teenagers that are lost and looking for hope and purpose. We have the capability of reaching out and helping. So we have a choice. Are we going to be that person in this moment, in this hour? Will we say to those who are looking for the message of hope, that are looking for something, and the only thing they know that they, they, they can do is tangible things so they're looking for food they're looking for clothing they're looking for shelter and yes it's good to do what we can to help in those areas but at the end of the day the poor will always be around us we can't reach everybody though we can reach somebody 
But can I say, we can reach everybody with the message of hope. We can reach everybody with the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And together we can do that through missions. Jesus said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. How do we go and reach all nations without having those that are missionaries who go on our behalf that we rally in behind and support with our prayers and with our finances and we say we want for you to go it's not going to be easy but there's going to be a value to it that you're going to encounter that you're going to be able to come back and tell us about it's priceless and here they sat specifically Andy and Amanda after such a hard three years of tragedies but yet triumphs they're ready to go back what a commitment if they're committed to go we ought to be committed to send we ought to be able to say you can depend on us look at us don't look anywhere else look at us we're here and you can depend on us and that ought to be our heart as a ministry Every head bowed and every eye closed this morning.